How's it going, YouTube? I'm just uh, about to start working on my replacement 2511T for the one that I had that got stolen. And uh, just got this shipped in from Georgia. I'm really excited to have this saw back again after waiting for almost three months. So uh, this is going to be the first part of a five-part series. Um, just different mods that I do to this saw uh, that kind of unlock its full potential. Uh, most of this stuff is simple stuff that you can do in your shop at home. So hope you guys can benefit from this and enjoy it. Uh, we're going to start out by uh, swapping the sprocket over. And that's going to be pretty simple. Pull off the side cover. You're going to want to have an impact driver with a half inch um, socket. Something that's got a good amount of torque. And uh, should be able to just pop this uh, clutch right off. And this is going to be uh, left-handed threads. So it's going to be righty-loosey, righty-loosey, lefty-tighty. This is our new part. I'll provide the link in the description for this one. Uh, I ordered it from Bailey's. It was very prompt. This is our old sprocket. This is our new one. You can see the difference between the two of them. Uh, now before we put the new one on, we want to make sure we get the bearing. And put that in our new sprocket. Slide that back on the shaft where it was with the bearing in place. Put this washer back on. And then remember, left-handed threads. So we're gonna just nice and gently finger thread this on in the beginning. Goes on pretty nice and easy. Hit it with the impact one time and should be all good to go. You just slide your side cover back on. to go along with our quarter pitch conversion I'll just go ahead and show you guys uh, the bar and chain combo that I'm running and that's the uh, one you can walk into Ace Hardware or uh, Rural King if you got those or uh, your local steel dealer and buy this is the 10 inch quarter pitch drive uh, basically this is a pole saw bar and chain uh, and that way you can get the chains almost anywhere you can get replacement bars almost anywhere, but there is a tiny modification that you've got to do um, in order to be able to run and uh, and to be able for the chain to be able to uh, oil properly. You got to drill a couple of new uh, tensioner holes, and uh, on the Echoes, the tensioner holes are also the uh, the oiler holes, and on the steel, you've got the the tiny little one down here that's your oiler hole for the steels so uh, in order to uh, oil the chain properly you have to drill holes that'll that'll uh, be compatible with the echo oiling system so I will briefly show you how to do that I've got it pre-marked already uh, where these are and I'm gonna go ahead and cross them and drill them out and I'll take you along for the ride on that process All right, I got my little makeshift workbench set up here and I'll show you I've got everything marked out where it needs to be. 
these two little lines at the top are for where we're going to drill our oiler holes through. And ideally, that's going to end up being uh, one large oiler hole um, that oil can pass through freely, kind of how those, those are here. I believe if you want to run a 12 inch steel bar, you can do it without modifying the bar, drilling any holes, but I do not know for a fact, so don't quote me on that one. So what you want to end up with, and it's going to be very hard to see in the video, but you're going to want to have two little holes drilled in the profile so that you can uh, pass a little tweezer or something through it. Have a nice little opening in that the top of this hole right here. Um, and that's what's going to get you your... Uh, or oiling capabilities. Now we'll be all set to go ahead and put the uh, bar and trim on the saw. Install the side cover. Most like it was made to go on there. <laughs> 